Welcome to this fascinating journey into the early period of human history, where numerous inventions and discoveries marked a significant turning point in civilization. From the development of perspective painting to the invention of the printing press, these breakthroughs revolutionized the way people lived and worked. Join us as we explore the remarkable individuals who brought about these transformative inventions and discoveries. Printing Press The printing press was invented in the mid-15th century by Johannes Gutenberg, a German goldsmith and printer. Gutenberg's invention was a major technological breakthrough that revolutionized the way information was disseminated. Gutenberg's innovation was to combine existing technologies, such as the wine press and movable type, to create a machine that could mass-produce printed material. He developed a new kind of printing press that used individual, reusable letters made of metal which could be arranged to form words and sentences. Gutenberg also developed an oil-based ink that could adhere to the metal type and be transferred onto paper. He then used the wine press to apply pressure to the ink type, transferring the ink onto the paper and creating a printed page. Gutenberg's printing press made it possible to produce books and other printed materials much more quickly and cheaply than ever before. This had a profound impact on European society, making books more widely available and facilitating the spread of knowledge and ideas. Johannes Gutenberg's press was first used to print a Latin Bible, which is commonly referred to as the Gutenberg Bible. This Bible, also known as the 42-line Bible or Mazarin Bible, was completed in 1455 and is widely regarded as the first book printed with movable type. It was a remarkable achievement, as it took several years and thousands of individual pieces of type to complete the project. These early printed works were important milestones in the history of printing, and they helped to establish Gutenberg's press as a groundbreaking invention that would transform the world of printing and publishing. Perspective Painting Perspective painting is a technique that was developed by Renaissance artists in the 15th century. It involves using various methods to create an illusion of depth and space on a two-dimensional surface, such as a canvas or a wall. One of the key aspects of perspective painting is the use of a vanishing point, which is a point on the horizon where parallel lines appear to converge. This gives the painting a sense of depth and creates the illusion of a three-dimensional space. Renaissance artists also use other techniques to enhance the illusion of depth in their paintings, such as overlapping objects size and position relationships, and the use of shadows and light to create the impression of depth and volume. One of the most famous examples of perspective painting is Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper, which uses linear perspective to create a sense of depth and space in the painting. The development of perspective painting was a major innovation in art and it had a profound impact on the way that artists approached the representation of space and form. It also reflected the broader cultural and intellectual changes that were taking place during the Renaissance, as artists sought to create a more realistic and lifelike depiction of the world around them. Anatomy the study of anatomy during the Renaissance was a period of great advancement and innovation. Prior to the Renaissance, knowledge of human anatomy was based mainly on the work of ancient Greek and Roman physicians, and anatomical dissections were rarely performed due to cultural and religious taboos. During the Renaissance, however, there was a renewed interest in studying human anatomy and the human body, 
as well as a greater acceptance of the practice of dissection. This was driven in part by the broader cultural movement towards humanism, which emphasized the importance of the individual and the study of the natural world. One of the most important figures in the study of anatomy during the Renaissance was Andreas Vesalius, a Flemish anatomist and physician. Vesalius was known for his meticulous anatomical dissections and for his detailed illustrations of the human body, which he published in his landmark work, Humani Corporis Fabrica on the Fabric of the Human Body, in 1543. Vesalius' work, along with that of other Renaissance anatomists such as Leonardo da Vinci, provided much more accurate understanding of the human body than had previously been possible. This knowledge had practical applications in medicine and surgery, and also had a broader cultural impact, influencing art, literature, and philosophy. Telescope the telescope was invented in the early 17th century by two individuals, Hans Lippershey, a Dutch eyeglass maker, and Galilea Galilei, an Italian scientist and astronomer. Lippershey is often credited with inventing the telescope in 1608. He was reportedly inspired by children in his town who were playing with two lenses and noticed that objects looked larger when viewed through them. Lippers he then came up with the idea of placing two lenses in a tube, creating a simple telescope that could magnify distant objects. Galilea Galilei was also working on developing a telescope around the same time. He heard about Lippers he's invention and, using his knowledge of optics and mathematics, was able to improve upon the design. Galileo's telescope had a convex objective lens at one end and a concave eyepiece lens at the other, which produced a larger, clearer image. Galileo's telescope was an important tool for his astronomical observations, allowing him to make groundbreaking discoveries, such as the moons of Jupiter and the facies of Venus. His observations challenged the traditional view of the universe and provided evidence to support the heliocentric model of the solar system. The invention of the telescope had a profound impact on astronomy and scientific discovery, enabling scientists to observe and study the heavens in greater detail than ever before. Microscope the microscope is an instrument used to magnify and observe objects that are too small to be seen with the naked eye. The invention of the microscope is credited to Dutch spectacle maker Zacharis Eensen and his father Hans in the late 16th century, though it was further developed and improved by another Dutchman, Antoni van Leeuwenhoek. Zacharis Eensen and his father Hans were renowned for their expertise in the production of eyeglasses, and they experimented with the use of lenses to create a device that could magnify small objects. Their earliest microscopes consisted of a tube with a lens at each end, and were capable of magnifying objects up to nine times their original size. And Tony van Leeuwenhoek who lived in the 17th century, further improved upon the design of the microscope by using a single lens with a small, spherical shape. This allowed him to achieve much higher magnification than was possible with earlier designs, up to 300 times magnification. Leeuwenhoek used his microscope to study a wide range of small objects, including microorganisms and bacteria. He is often referred to as the father of microbiology for his pioneering work in this field. The invention of the microscope revolutionized the study of biology and the natural sciences, enabling scientists to explore and observe previously unknown worlds at the microscopic level. Today, Microscopes continue to be a vital tool in scientific research and medical diagnosis, 
and have led to many important discoveries in fields ranging from medicine to material science. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content.